Hey everyone, welcome back to the Aimless Nation. It is Valentine's Day on Sunday, so I figured let's make a Valentine's Day cocktail because what better way to celebrate Valentine's Day than with alcohol? Whether you're single, in a relationship or whatever, anyone can do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the word Valentine, I'm gonna take each letter from that word and pick an ingredient and make a cocktail. Let's jump into it and let's celebrate this festive time of Valentine's Day together. So first thing you're gonna need is a cocktail shaker. This is not part of the word Valentine, but it is a piece of equipment you might need. If you don't have a cocktail shaker, you can use a protein shaker, I read that the other day. And if you don't have a protein shaker or a cocktail shaker, you can just probably use a spoon and like muddle it together. So, cocktail shaker. Valentine. First letter we're gonna start with is V. Probably the most obvious letter, first thing that comes to my mind, vodka. We bought this vodka in Iceland on our way home from the, in the airport and it is honestly the smoothest vodka I have ever drunk in my life. Take your cocktail shaker, try and struggle with the lid. So, B, vodka. Vodka. Next letter of the alpha, not the alphabet. <laughs> Next letter of the word Valentine, V A A. So A, apple juice. Cloudy apple juice, normal apple juice, fresh apple juice, carton apple juice, whatever apple juice you have in the house, grab some apple juice and chuck it on in there. Oh, it's burning my face. Um, I don't really know how much. We'll do like two parts apple juice. This is already on the table. So two shots of apple juice in there. Are you drinking along at home? You don't have to be, but let me know in the comments down below if you are or if you tried this cocktail. Obviously I've not finished it yet. If you could think of a non-alcoholic word for V, let me know. So we have got vodka, apple juice. Our next letter is L. L for lemonade. Lemonade. Do not judge the fact I get basic lemonade. This costs me 17p and it does the job. I learned from when I made iron brew cocktails the other week that this does not go in the shaker. This lemonade will get added at the end, okay? Because I'm not having another explosion of alcohol everywhere. Especially as I'm in my lounge, not in my kitchen, I'd be even more devastated if it got on the carpet. But L is for lemonade and we're gonna come back to lemonade in a bit. Now, E really got me. I was like, E. <laughs> What on earth could have an E? We were like, energy drink. We got stuck on energy drink for a good couple of hours <laughs> trying to think of what we could make. And then it dawned on me, elderflower. E is for elderflower. I don't even know if I like elderflower cordial, but it's going on in there. Ooh, it smells posh. Ooh, it's really thick. That is, look at that consistency. I'm just gonna chuck a shot in. I don't know how strong this stuff is like how strong tasting obviously it's not alcohol so elderflower that's not elderflower that's elderflower so we're about halfway there how many yeah there's eight letters we are literally halfway there Quick mess. so for n i really struggled and i was like i have no idea i was googling like cocktail ingredients beginning with n and what came up was nectar hang on in there because you're going to be like nectar where the hell are you getting that from Honey, honey is a type of nectar. I think I Googled it. Um, so we're gonna put in a cheeky bit of honey. Yes, we are. I don't know if this tastes good. Hold on in there. That feels like enough honey. So next up is tea. And we're gonna get a tall glass. <laughs> I know, you can see I'm struggling at this point. And then I, are you ready for this genius? Some ice, oh yeah, some ice for this cocktail. I'm gonna put a couple of bits of ice in the shaker and then I'm gonna put some ice in my in my tall glass. I'm gonna give this a shaky shake. Then we're gonna pour this into our tall glass. So we have got vodka, apple juice. Oh my God, my brain just went blank. Lemonade. So we've got our vodka, our apple juice, our lemonade, our elderflower cordial, our nectar, honey, in our tall glass with ice. Now I can hear you say, Joe, there's two more letters in Valentine. I know. 
and I'm gonna admit, I ran out of drinking options. So, what better accompaniment to an alcoholic beverage than some snacks? So what is the best snack in the world that goes with alcohol and can be eaten at any time of day, whether you're happy, sad, angry, excited, anything that begins with N? Nachos. I can eat nachos anytime. I'm always in the mood for nachos. I don't think I've ever said I'm not in the mood for nachos. So, nachos. And then the last letter is E. So to complete our Valentine's Day cocktail concoction with a couple of snacks, uh, we've got E. So I always have to eat something sweet after I've eaten something savory. It's just how my brain is programmed. I have got an eclair. So there you have it, Valentine. Valentine, Valentine, cocktail, nachos, eclair. I guess I should probably try this cocktail now. The mixture apple juice, honey and lemonade and elderflower is actually really nice. I'm not gonna lie, like right between you and me, I feel like this cocktail is gonna taste disgusting. Even cold nachos are tasty. That was my Valentine's Day cocktail concoction. I just wanted to have a bit of fun for a Valentine's Day video. I didn't want to get hung up on Valentine's Day. Whether you love it or whether you hate it, I figured anyone can sit and be like, I'll try that cocktail, that looks fun. Please let me know in the comments down below if you tried to make the cocktail and also if you enjoyed it with the recommended snacks. Thank you all for watching. I put out videos every Wednesday. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Stay aimless, goodbye. Even cold nachos are tasty.